Troponin tests usually check for heart damage by measuring the amount of troponin I or troponin T in the blood. Normally, troponin stays inside your heart muscle cells, but damage to those cells causes troponin to leak into your blood. Most of the time, the amount of troponin in the blood is so low that standard blood tests can't find it. When the heart is hurt, like during a heart attack, it releases troponin into the blood. Even small changes in troponin can show that the heart has been hurt. When troponin levels are very high, it usually means a person just had a heart attack. This test is useful when ECG tests are inconclusive or when you have vague symptoms. Troponin levels in the blood are usually very low, but if the heart is hurt, they can go up a lot. Different labs can have different ranges for normal troponin levels, so it's best to discuss the results with the doctor who ordered the test. In a lab, the amount of troponin in the blood is measured in nanograms per milliliter, nanogram per milliliter. The expected troponin level in healthy adults is either very low or can't be found. When your troponin levels are higher than the reference range, it means damaged heart muscle cells are leaking troponin into your blood. The normal range for troponin T is 0 to 0 0.04 nanograms per milliliter. To be considered high, troponin levels must be higher than 99% of what they should be for a healthy adult. Most likely, a heart attack is above 0.40 nanograms per milliliter of troponin T. When the result is between 0.04 and 0.39 nanograms per milliliter, it usually means something is wrong with the heart. A very small number of healthy people have troponin levels that are above average. Because of this, if the result is in the borderline range, a doctor may look for other symptoms and order more tests before making a diagnosis. When troponin levels are significantly high, especially if they go up and down over the course of several hours, this is a strong sign of a heart injury. Many labs use the Food and Drug Administration approved high sensitivity version of the troponin test. This newer test can find high levels of troponin earlier than older ones. Doctors usually order a series of troponin tests to see how a person's levels change over time. 